Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we're gonna be working on the Dodge Dakota RT. So we're gonna be loading Flying Ryan Performance's tune into the truck. So a bunch and a host of changes have happened. We had the truck boosted on a stock long block and the fate of that engine is right there. It ended up uh, letting go. We weren't sure the history on it, so it let go and we found another used engine. We put that used 5.9 liter, 360 cubic inches in there and we ended up putting a cam in it as along with uh, stiffer valve springs. So if you guys are stopping in for the first time, go back in some of those videos so you can get caught up to date, but that's the short of the long. And now I have to upload Flying Ryan Performance's tune into it to accommodate for those changes. So let me go outside to the truck and I'll show you guys the truck and we'll load up that tune. Okay, so here's the truck you guys, single cab RT. And I'll show you guys quickly under the hood if you guys are new to the channel. And even if you're not new to the channel, I'm gonna get everybody up to speed on what the mod list is so that everyone's on the same page. So starting from the top, we have one of FRP's 52 millimeter bored out throttle bodies. Then we have it coupled with, this is actually a four BBL M1. It's got the two BBL adapter plate. And what else can I show you? So then it has uh, IMM spec cam, which I showed in the other video with the cam install, and then a stiffer valve springs, and then we have the Mopar Performance uh, mid-length headers. That pretty much does it for under the hood, except I also have a clutch fan delete, and we went with an E-fan, so I showed you guys that. That pretty much does it for the list of mods. I do have an intake, but we've been messing around with the distributor and stuff that I haven't put it on. Once this thing is all good and ready to go, we're gonna run it like this naturally aspirated for a bit, and then we're gonna put boost back on it. Of course, boost motorsports. I already had a front mount intercooler in here. We had it all prepped and ready, and then the engine let go. So I'm gonna make sure that this all works well and good. And if this works good, then we'll bolt back on the Pro Charger kit, and then we'll send it. So anyways, let me get the laptop hooked up. I'll show you guys the process and what you do. So let me just explain it. So what happens is, um, somebody like Flying Ryan Performance, you tell him what your mods are, such as everything I just outlined, you'll send him that information, and then he will email you a tune. So then we're gonna use HP tuners to load that tune into the PCM. So you can use HP tuners, MPVI2, which I'll show you here in a second. You connect it to your OBD2 ports. As long as you have the credits, then you can load and flash the PCM to accommodate for the changes in performance. Um, once you get it running, usually you can do a little bit of back and forth with Ryan from Flying Ryan Performance, and you'll go back and forth and fine tune some things, but um, if you don't have an extensive set of mods, like if it's nothing too crazy, probably get it on the first try, but um, yeah, you can always dial things in and this is how it works. So uh, he just emailed me the tune for these mods. Let's get everything set up and I'll get it loaded up and show you guys. All right, so here's the procedure. You're gonna have HP tuners, uh, VCM suite loaded up on your PC. Then you're gonna take your MPVI2, which is this small OBD2 connection with a USB-C in it. You're gonna plug it into your OBD2 port so you're ready to go there. And then the USB, you're gonna plug it into your computer. So I think mine is on this side. Okay, so now that we're all plugged in and their connections are all set, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna open your tune file. So you'll go and you'll open the file. In the top left, you'll see a little file folder and then just select whatever tune file you're thinking of opening. Okay, I'll just go over here so the glare is not so bad. So you can verify which file you have up on the top left. Once you have that file open, you're gonna click this little chip with the red arrow saying right vehicle. So you're gonna click it and of course it's gonna tell us that vehicle isn't on. So you're gonna to have to turn your ignition to not running, but just before. So just before you start it, so all your lights on your dash show up. Then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click right. So there you go, it says writing, we'll let it do its thing. You'll then see this prompt, it says turn ignition off, wait three seconds, and then turn it back on. And then hit okay. And now it's gonna start writing and it'll give you an ETA. 
It's usually about three minutes on these vehicles. All right, once it's completed, it says to cycle the ignition. And that's pretty much it. You can close out your HP tuners. Now we can fire this bad boy up. Now we're back in business. You guys, she's rowdy. Listen to this. Hot damn. This thing is fun. Pretty fun, boys. <laughs> Woo! It's not boosted yet, but she's fun. It pulls a lot harder up top, you guys. All right, guys, so a bit of a short video for you, but uh, I wanted to load up that tune and show you guys that process. I know I've showed you guys in the past, but I wanna get the you know people that are new to the channel uh, familiar with the process. It's really that simple. You know, somebody emails you a tune, you load it up with the laptop and you go back and forth. So the back and forth part, what I have to do now is I actually have to do a little bit more due diligence on my side. I still want to change out the two primary O2 sensors cause they're who knows how old. I also have a brand new, it's not here in front of me, but I do have it here. A brand new crank position sensor from Mopar that I'm gonna be putting in. So I'm gonna do that stuff just so we can get a better reading and the truck can run even a little bit better than it already is. So uh, it pulls pretty strong right now. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far, but once we throw boost on there eventually, this thing is gonna be a whole other animal. So we'll run it like this for a little while. Maybe we'll take it to the track to see what she does once hopefully the track opens up. I think they're starting to open up now, but we can maybe try it naturally aspirated and then we'll get that supercharger back on there, I think and then we'll send it, of course. So anyways, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on that bell that's next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all the latest videos when they come out. We'll see you guys on the next video.